That's two. You hype, man. You hype. All right, good. Hype dog. Good. Van dog, you alright, man? Yeah, good. Thank you, man. Oh, man. All right, you guys ready for the next comment? Got two more left, man. This guy, he is, he's amazing. His boy is taking it in the back, man. He's, he's having a good time. One of the happiest dudes I've ever met, his friend. All right? You know what I'm saying, man. Oh, man, we get stabbed after the show. Oh. <laughs> not really. He rains $100 bills, man, but he still tries to get in for free. You know what I'm saying? That's how he rolls. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, man. This guy has a Brooklyn College radio station all the time, overtime. He's a very funny comedian. I'm proud to call this guy my friend, Mills the Comedian. Next door, Bill. Yeah. 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 Fuck. Who's going to tell you to stop clapping? Fucking Social Security office, man. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody black knows that joke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I feel out here, man. This weather is fucked up, man. This weather is bad as shit. This weather, this kind of weather that make all the people want to get their rights together. <laughs> 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 this kind of weather, all the person like, you know what? I need a second chance in life. <laughs> it's raining one day, 77 degrees the next day, 85 degrees this day, and goddamn hailing on a motherfucking highway when I'm coming here. That's bullshit. But anyway, I'm Mills. Enjoy the show. You want to have the right? Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> sit down, sit up straight. You gotta sit up straight for my shows. <laughs> Let your leg down. <laughs> Couples in the house, clap it up, clap it up. Shit, 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 shit. shit. I don't do relationship things anymore. You know why? Because it costs too much fucking money to do shit that you don't even know if it's worth it. My new philosophy is, let me get the pussy first to see if it's worth me spending money on. That way I can determine if I want to spend money on it. See, you wouldn't know that. So you, 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 you are based on dick. <laughs> so you think if the dick is good, you spend the money, right? <laughs> That's how we feel about vagina. Vagina is the most powerfulest thing in the world. Ladies, you don't understand how powerful you pussy. Hey, listen, you better listen to this shit right here. You listen. Hey, portal girl. You know how, you know how powerful your pussy is? Yes or no? You know, you don't know how powerful your pussy is. Well, anyway, for those of you who know how powerful your pussy is, ladies, you can get men to do whatever the fuck you want them to do. As long as you, as long as they know they get some pussy out of it. But if the pussy is whack, we might want a refund on sex. I know me. I've asked for a refund one time. I've actually gave the girl back my dick. I said, you know what? You are supposed to have this. I see her. I said, oh, she's sexy. Look at her. Ooh, I see a lot of white girls in here. Sorry, my black sisters, but my dick is not for color girls only. That was just a movie. Like me, I, you know, I do a lot of online dating, and um, I feel like it works better because you get to filter out what you really want to do with yourself. You pay $45 and you can see a thousand bitches. You go to the club, pay $20. You're bound to not go home with any numbers. And you're just like, damn, I wasted $27. $25 to get in, $2 on a cup of ice and water, because I'm not buying no drinks. Drinks <laughs> about $50. So me, what I do now is all my day. You know why? Because you can filter out what you want to see, what you want, who you want, and you can match. But there's always a negative about this, because you always meet the fat bitches who always take top hat bitches. <laughs> <laughs> this that fool you. Top hat bitches fool you. I can't do top hat bitches. They take pictures of their face, their eyes, their lips. Bitch, where is your body? <laughs> Bitch, your body. I call bitches that just give top hat bitches BBBs. And BBB stands for big body bitches. <laughs> Have you ever done with Big Money Bitch? <laughs> You're not the top hat, you got some titties. <laughs> <laughs> where, where are all the titties in there? Titties that make some noise. Yeah. 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 My mom, you, everybody knows this. We know when you cry when you was a baby, the only way your mother used to shut you up was put a titty right in your mouth. But the thing about this, you know, <laughs> the thing about this, the shit still works today. 
<laughs> I guarantee you, listen, you're cut out. Next time he come home, and say, baby, you doing too much? I guarantee you, put a titty out. <laughs> I guarantee you, next time he come home, baby! You need anything? Put a titty in my mouth. <laughs> you want some shoes? Put a titty in my mouth. I got a confession to make. I don't care if y'all judging me. Matter of fact, judge me. I have a, I have a, a, a strange addiction. I like fucking pregnant bitches that's not pregnant with my baby. Yeah, I didn't get that. I don't think it hurt me. I like to have sex with eight month pregnant bitches that don't have my kid. And the reason why is because, first of all, you're fucked up for even not being with your child's father. And I'm gonna take it on this, I'm gonna take it on your little child. There was plenty of times that I had sex with pregnant girls and I didn't hit a couple of foreheads. Probably bust a couple of ribs. I don't know. I don't know how far my sick, you know, I don't know how far my dick can reach because I realized that just because I'm tall and black doesn't necessarily mean that I have a big penis. <laughs> One day I was in the shower and I thought of something that got me aroused. So I said, let me hurry up and measure my dick just to make sure I know how big my dick is. <laughs> Somebody asked me how big my dick is. Little did I know, I only have a five and a half inch penis. So ladies, if you thought of me as a sex symbol, throw it out the window. I'm a big tall black man with a pequeño pee pee. <laughs> well, I call it a pequeño pee pee. <laughs> What else I want to talk about? Um, <laughs> he does have a lot of hair and chest. <laughs> that taco meat, that's what we call that, that taco meat. <laughs> that shit is like fucking taco meat. You never seen ground beef uh, in the pot? <laughs> <laughs> Next time you're in the black friend's house, go to his pot or ask his mother to put that spaghetti. Before she I got that spaghetti, she will put that ground beef in that pot, and that's how you chest it. <laughs> 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 that's what we call the taco bit. <laughs> anyway, enough of you. Um, anybody out here with kids? I you heard you got kids, right? Did you have a daddy talk yet? You have a daddy talk yet? You're fucking a pregnant bitch, I want to Nice, nice. <laughs> anyway, anybody have kids in here or anybody that's pregnant? You have kids? Did you have a daddy talk yet? <laughs> you don't have a daddy talk yet? <laughs> Really? I'm telling you, daddy talk is this right here. <laughs> you have your son or daughter, however you are, get to a certain age. Really? Sit him down. Sit him down, right? Say, look here, this is something that my father didn't do for me. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pass my young knowledge on to you guys. So, you take a look at your life, right? You say, okay, where have I been in life? I went to school, got a job, might have got a GED, don't want to call it out. But what, what my dad didn't do was let me know that I wasn't going to be worth shit in life. <laughs> this is what he didn't tell me. He didn't tell me this. He didn't tell me that I would be here as a 26-year-old man doing stand-up comedy in a room of 16 people. <laughs> <laughs> my dad didn't tell me that. He didn't tell me that I wouldn't do shit in life. Like, I don't even know why I have my college degree. I'm ready to give it back. <laughs> I'm ready to give it back. <laughs> Yeah. I wasted my ass in school to do nothing. You know what I do? I work at a check catching place. I catch money orders. And I look up check frauds. I do Western Unions. Look at that. I have a college degree. I'm not worth shit. And I blame it all on my father. So fathers out there, if you, got, if you know your life wasn't shit, don't try to sell your kid a fucking dream that they know it's not going to come true. You know what? Being successful is probably one in a billion chance of happening. Like, if you see your son down the right path, <laughs> sit him down and say, look here, motherfucker. <laughs> Continue doing what you're doing because your life is not going to be shit. Don't go to school. Don't even go to school. You might, you might get a little bit of pussy in life. You might, you might, you might beat off a couple of times. I might catch you something in your dick. I don't, my daughter, I don't know what you might do. <laughs> but what you, what you want to do in your life is just sit down and say, you know what? My life wasn't shit. Your life is not going to be shit. This is how it goes. This is part of the family trait. Granddaddy wasn't shit. Even though I got, I got eight grandfathers, just by the way. Eight. Eight. My grandmother used to be a whore. And I'm glad she found Jesus because she just now told me that my, I have nine aunts and uncles, including my mother. And my grandmother has eight baby fathers. Only the twins have the same father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So on Daddy Day, I don't even send out a card. I just send out a mass email <laughs> to say, Happy Father's Day if you are my grandfather. <laughs> How many grandfathers do you get? How many grandfathers do you got? Are you whatever? Irish? Jewish? You're Jewish? You're Jewish. I want to ask you a question. I really want to know the answer to this. Do you have sex on sheets? You do? You stick a hole in it and just put your dick in there? On top of the sheets. How did you feel about that? She's cool with it. Is that a substitute for a condom? You want to tell me something? The toughest thing in a man's life, fellas, if you agree with me, clap it up. The toughest thing in our life is the moment you're having sex and you gotta get a condom. Right or wrong? That is the most difficult part in a man's life because there are two options. Either you can have a baby or you can get an STD. I have twins, I got the babies. <laughs> I'm taking my chance with the SUV. Because <laughs> sometimes, you, sometimes you cannot wait. Sometimes you, you go get, you go get a condom. I'm about to get some ass. You go get a condom, you go like this. They go just like this. <laughs> they be like, God ah, damn. They, they try to get back in the bush. She's like, is it me? <laughs> no, bitch. It's, my, it's just you want me to go get a condom. Well, the minute you, my dick is on full rock mode. You know what rock mode is? Rock mode. Rock mode dick. And you want me to get a fucking condom to put on before we have sex? Fuck no. That's a chance I want to take. That's an 18 year bid that you are taking a risk on. 18, they both You didn't it. You're lucky. That's 23. Did you use condoms the first time you had sex? Nope. Um. That's a black thing. That's a black thing. <laughs> you know what else I found out? I found out that there are XL Magnums. I went to the grocery store. I'm about to get some pussy, so you know me. I'm going to look at the Magnums. Go to the side. She said, Magnum XL. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> but the fucking thing about it is, there was a white guy that said, let me get those. <laughs> those. Those. <laughs> Look at him and said, damn. <laughs> I asked him, so how big is your dick? I didn't even want to get an answer, I just walked out the store. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Nelson Davini, y'all can look me up on YouTube, yeah. Twitter, Facebook, y'all can look me up. Nelson Davini, everybody. Oh man, we got one last comment.